those. I gotta correct myself. Down tilt, up air. A move we saw taking several stocks since the Orkane's appearance. Closing it out, 3 2 over Kodak. They're, they're, these people plan to give us heart attacks. These game sets have five. been like game, game five. Last stock, last hit. Uh, aggressive edge guard that makes the opponent get back to stage and suddenly they're in a scramble in neutral and neither one of them wants to hit the other person. No one wants to commit. No one wants Tap to. Tap's got the master of the role there. Even at those last sequence, being able to put himself in the advantageous position by rolling in towards the stage, Kodak just wasn't ready for it and that's what led to that final interaction. I just... That game four needs to be studied for science because both of those roles were crazy. By frames, crazy by roll. frames, by frames. He was able any to other, dodge any that other. Point. If that's if that's me doing that, I'm getting hit. Like Every that is time. the difference. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, I'm just like, damn it, I rolled there. It, and he's just like, no, no, I have frame this to this vulnerability. I'll see you later. If, if it's me, my opponent just waits. You know, they just hold it there. They're not even letting it go. But great stuff to Tapscott moving on to losers quarters and amazing stuff. To Kodak for getting top eight at this tournament, but now we've got cheesy, we've got hockey's the other new rising star coming into this top eight. The band marches on to Jules Vale. We go Crag versus Eliana. Game one. Uh, this matchup has always kind of been a little contested on whether or not Crag wins or Ellie wins, or if it's an even slobber knocker where both of them can just delete the other person. But right now. Jeezy's making a bit of a case to say, oh, you know, maybe Craig has some advantages in this matchup, especially if Ellie can't do anything. Ooh, but this is what she can do, though. Oh, oh my god! There, there was a vision there, and I respect it. You don't see it's a lot of rock. You, you see the, the upbeat, and you're like, okay, this is over, we're gonna reset, and, and Haki was just like, what if I combo off my rocket drop? <laughs> or my mech, my mech drop? Exactly. Oh, great dodge on that Nair there, but... Right now, hockey's in overheat. This is a dangerous spot. Oh, the eject works out there, and he's now got cheesy off stage once again. Oh, and mine's on the clouds, but you are still gone. Yeah. We're one thing I think we didn't get to talk about a lot in the first time where we saw Hockey's is Hockey's uses Steam in a very interesting and very fun way. You know Aegis Reflector from Street mm -hmm. Fighter? Yeah, it worked. He uses it almost kind of like that where he kind of suffocates his face and sort of combos you with the Steam, you know? Knows that, okay, well, you're in front of the Steam, so you're going to get bounced off the Steam. Oh my god, this combo right now. That was so sick. That almost turned into a second one that turned into another stock. And it's, it's interesting that you talk about that too, right? Because like some of these characters in Rivals have their own unique ways of locking down the stage, right? I mean, Crag can do it with, with Rock, you can do it with Pillar, Absa does it with Cloud, and then seeing the steam used like that, almost like, you know, obviously as intended, it's gotta just lock down that space. Just fantastic stuff. Right now we're seeing Cheesy lock down the edge guard right now. 65 untouched, the good old classic forwarder coming in, but never mind. Hockey said reversal of fortune. Akashi, I feel like every time we see an extended cheesy Edgar, then out of nowhere, Hockey's just like, ah, but what if this is my combo? Uh, cheesy said, but what if it was my game, though? <laughs> that's just the high recovery with the up air, and that is going to be game one. Yes, oh, sir. My. Yes, sir. Listen, this, this has crazy. been, you talked about it at the start, right? Is it Craig favorite? Is it Ellie favorite? Is it just a good old fashioned slobber knocker? And I'm leaning towards the third one there because that was just a absolute heavyweight bout. No jabs, all haymakers. Each hit led to such a strong advantage. And we saw hockey's for a good while have the lead of that game. And then Cheesy just brought it back and said, okay, well, now it's my turn to edge guard. 65%. Just went to the other side of the stage to do the same edge guarding and then just caught the jump, caught the higher attempted recovery. Game two on treetop. You see Ellie try to use these higher platform on the right hand side to their advantage. Let's see how this goes. We will probably see a good bit more up tilt usage just because of the fact that that, pla that top platform isn't really safe for Crag the same way it is for Ellie. Frag needs a rock to really kind of threaten that upward area, but Ellie just has up tilt at any given point, has missile at any given point, has steam that they can let linger up there. But never mind, Cheesy said, I'm just going to go off stage and just try and hit you. That's fine. Yeah. 
be between her and ZB, I just want to understand, I mean, or MSB too, I want to see how the Krag mind works, because that side B to break the rock to force the shards upwards is just, like, Mensa level thinking. This is 160 IQ. On top of that, you also get the break cancel off of the rock too, so not, o not only do you get the rock shards to connect, you also possibly get another forward, a great tech, but still ready for it with the up strong. I didn't even think about the break cancel. This is just fantastic like, rivals to watch. There oh, it is, yeah. man. Back and forth. If it's anything we've seen from if it's anything we've seen from hockey so far, is that he is able to go and chase so high up there. Not afraid to take Eliana to the highest possible point. But cheesy, oh my god, just putting on constant aggression. Gotta let him breathe at some point. No, she does not. No, she Dude, said that, I'm that is the difference. We have seen back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That stock was all cheesy. Yeah, we're seeing like just the slow strangulation, the slow suffocation of the snake. That was Every... so clean. Oh yeah. The triple F tilt. Just carrying all the way to the other side. Carry God like are real. They they do exist. Tell your friends. Can Gets you finish up. off of this? Oh. Gets the up air for a little DI mix up. Oh, goes for <laughs> not to live. It's not fair. Cheesy you know, said, what edge guard? You know Cheesy was like, oh, gaming. We're so back. The smart we're so, decision we're to go so back like we never left. This is such a good back and forth. It is. On top of that, we we see like Cheesy's keeping aware of all of her resources at any given time, which is fantastic stuff when you're playing as Craig. Like when you know your pillars on the on the side of the stage, and you know you can retreat to that instead of having to go off stage. Ooh. That'll do it. That'll do it, man. But 174, Akashi. Can Hockey find this? It's gonna be a dangerous one. Any hit can lead to a confirm or just the raw up air off the top at, at 201, no less. That's kind of the benefit of both these characters. If you play it the right way, you can kind of make your stocks last, feel like they feel forever. But I mean, just 201, how safe can you come back to the stage? At some point, they're going to hit you with a strong move. You're going to lose the stock. And Cheesy's been keeping composed this whole time. Game number three going to be on Blazing Hideout. Oh, boy. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I kind of like this stage for Craig a little more than I would for Eliana on paper. But I could be wrong. There's just so well, I mean, much, room, you know. This is such. A, I mean, this is also a, a stage you would normally see the Crag kind of pick in a lot of matchups. I'm curious about like the the Eliana specific stuff. Oh my god! Ooh, yeah. No, I don't think there's a whole lot of Eliana specific stuff right now we can talk about because Cheesy's taking stocks like they're going out of style. Well, and it's crazy because we've seen so many like long edge guards from both these players. I was like, I got a chance to get this thought out, and she was like, Nah, nah. up there. We're, we're still going for it. We're still going. Eats it with a super armored side. Be great. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. You see, they're holding to avoid getting locked in place with the steam actually clears out that stock, but right now Hockey's back off stage again, and you see Cheesy still pressuring those high recoveries with the up air. Oh my god. Oh, and yet, oh my god. you are not safe. You need to be proactive in how you return back, because Cheesy will hit you every single time if you are being even just a little bit lazy, or a little bit there's, slow on the song. There's so much room that she can cover so quickly, and it's just like, ah, I can come back like this, and it's just, nope, 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 you're, you're dead. She's ready. She's ready for so much. She's been playing for so long that she knows so many of these situations. Yeah, I just an answer for every question on the test so far. And it's looking like we may be getting an A plus in this set because Cheesy looks like she's ready to close this out. And that is a quick 3-0. Yeah, you are not kidding. Close it out in style. Quick Nair Upshon. 3-0 for Cheesy moving on into losers quarters. Where she will be fighting Cake Assault. Yeah, so you have uh, Cheesy Potato versus Cake Assault. We are going to have Soul Rifle uh, versus Tapscott. And of course, on the other side, the winners of the all important ticket into grand finals, Kusi versus 
ZB, I mean, and this is one of the things where this is not what you're just going to see at the online side of things as well, with Hitfall coming up, with uh, Riptide coming up as well. There's going to be so much good rivals in the next couple months. I personally can't wait to either be on this side or on your side on the Twitch chat, just watching along, guys. Thank you so much for joining us here on a Saturday or Saturday night. We really appreciate and we really love having you here. But right now, we are going to be getting into Loser's Quarters right away with Taft Scott and